I'm Janet Taylor Pickett, mixed media artist, and I have this remarkable show at the Montclair Art Museum called Janet Taylor Pickett, the Matisse Series. And that's profoundly exciting because for me, it's allowing people to find out who I am as an artist and what my journey has been and also what my conversation has been with this artist called Henri Matisse. I was particularly drawn to his color and there is a painting called the Red Studio that's hanging at the Museum of Modern Art and when I first saw that work I was amazed by it. Here this man used this profound red and carved in it with this white line that he allowed to come through which was the canvas, the raw canvas, and I was mesmerized by it. So why Matisse? It's because he's this multifaceted artist that worked with color, that worked with textile, that also followed his own voice. And he was also having this conversation with, with Picasso. So I thought I'd join in. Why not? Her hand comes up right up the bottom of the dress, the hand of the artist. So she's in communication with the master, Henri Matisse, and here is this black woman coming in and saying, this is my world too, you know, make room. Her work is very decorative, and I say that in the way that Henri Matisse's work was decorative. You know, a lot of people think that the decorative makes it not you know, not high art, but she's able to use it in the way that he did. Beauty can be subversive, and by saying subversive, I, I mean that you can tell a story that's difficult through beauty. And I love color, I love pretty things. And it's wonderful on the back how you can see all the stitching. Right. Many times when you look at artwork, you don't see the back of it, but I kind of like to give another surprise on the back. Uh, again, with using a repetitive pattern of the hands. And that's the fun of, of working like this. You can add sort of visual surprises in the work. It's most remarkable to come up Bloomfield Avenue and see banners with my art and my name on it. I grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I live in California now. I live in a wonderful neighborhood in Pasadena. But to come here, it's to return home. New Jersey and Montclair has been home for nearly 35 years. So I've been in California for about five years now. But this has been my artistic home. Uh, I actually came on opening day to see Janet's exhibit, and um, then I found out she was teaching the master class, so the work is incredible and inspiring, so I thought to get a chance to create with her would be amazing. So you're going to have to turn it this way. Yeah. It's about inspiration. It's about un unleashing, tapping into that inner creative person, that inner light. So on to it. Yeah. The pews. Mm -hmm. And then you add your groom. Yeah. <laughs> That's the important, yeah, important part. So you're manifesting your um, your groom. This is her wedding dress, and she's manifesting her groom, and he will come. <laughs> As a young black woman, telling stories is important from a cultural perspective, from a historical perspective, and I mean her work just captures me. There's certain visual motifs that I've used over and over again. I'm using images from books, African images, African-American images, images from quilting, Matisse images of birds, myself as a little girl, my own daughter, family members. So I'm telling you this life story. How I'm telling my story becomes a specific story, but it's also universal. She
she is using the dress form as a vessel to fill with all these stories and all these elements, pejorative symbols, everything from the melon to the cotton, all of these things that she has personal connection with. Her father picked cotton as a little boy. So this, this is personal, it's in her DNA. And because the dress has become her template, she, that's her power symbol now. Janet loves beauty. And that's how she tells her story. I was very much inspired by the blue dress done by Matisse, but I've taken my own riff on it. I've put my own vocabulary in it. I've used African design. I've used images from African art. I've used the mask. So I'm talking to you, the viewer, but I'm also talking to Matisse. I'm saying to him, hey, here I am, my life matters, I'm a black woman artist, and I'm talking to you, and you've been talking back to me, and it's all good.